Good morning, my dears. Hope you're all perfectly fine. Beware of our situation now regarding coronavirus spread throughout the whole world. So, stick to the rules and stay safe at home. I'm the English teacher of grade 1, Ms. Nuran Anwar. So, now, welcome to our next session, which is the second. So, let's begin our selection section in our revision sheet. So, starting with the first one. A musical day. What's the kind or genre of the story? Fable or realistic fiction or informational text? Yes, realistic fiction. Why is it realistic fiction? Because the events can happen in our real life, right? So, the events of the story or the text can happen in our real life. Okay, good guys. Now let's get to number two. Aunt Veep is a lot of fun or so boring or sad. Yeah, she was a lot of fun. The kids were happy with her, right? Okay, now let's get to number three. Who are the main characters of the story? Aunt Veep or Aunt Viv and the kids' parents, or Aunt Viv and the kids. Yes, exactly, Aunt Viv and the kids. Okay, now let's get to number four. Aunt Viv's bag was big or small or pink. It was big, yes. You remember? It could hold so much inside, right? Okay, now let's get to number five. Aunt Veep's plan was to have to have a musical day with musical instruments or to go outside for a walk or to talk about different topics. Exactly, thank you. To have a musical day with musical instruments. Okay, number six. At the end of the plan of Aunt Veep's Kids made a cat or band or drum. Exactly! Cats made a band. They had drums to tap, as you remember, guys, and they had guitar to strum. So they had music, right? So they made a band. Okay. <clears throat> now let's get to number seven. Kids made drums or music or guitar. Yes, exactly. They made music. Perfect. Number eight. They made guitars to suck or pluck or tuck. Pluck. Perfect! They made guitars to pluck the action of getting the thread of the guitar out of its axis is called pluck. So, they made guitars to pluck so they can make a sound. Okay, now let's get to number nine. They made drums to, I just said it earlier guys, what was it? To tap, yes! Number 10. What or what were inside the big bag of Aunt Vives? Musical instruments or pancakes or toys? Yes, musical instruments. Yes, and as far as we remember, there were drums and there were what? Guitars. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Good guys. Now let's get to the next story. Well, it's actually a text. So, how animals communicate. What is the kind or genre of the story? Fable or realistic fiction or informational text? Thank you! Informational text! Thanks a lot! Yes! Why is it an informational text, guys? 
Yes, goes tells us information about how animals communicate. Thank you. Now let's get to number 12. Animals will tug and grab or play with toys or go to the garden. Yes, tug and grab. Tug and grab. Do you remember, do you remember the bear when he hugged his baby bear? Yes, okay. So, let's get to number 13. Do animals like the snake? Yes or no or the are friends? No. Yes, exactly. No. Animals don't like the snake. Okay. So, they fear the snake. So, number 14. An animal can hug its toy or wall or baby. Yes, exactly. An animal can hug its baby. Okay. So, let's get to number 15. Birds like to wing or sing or link. Sing. Perfect. Like the sparrow. Okay. Now, let's get to number 16. A wolf make a loud sound to call his sack or pack or cat exactly his pack do you remember what his pack means pack means his family and friends and his own kind okay okay so let's get to number 17 bees buzz and dance when they find food or girl or cat. Food, perfect. So bees buzz and dance when they find food, perfect. So, number 18. An animal mom can tell the what of its baby. Can tell the color or the smell or the necklace exactly can tell the smell it can't really tell the color because many animals have the same color so how do they know their babies right so they can tell the smell of its baby okay now let's get to number 19 animals get away from the skunk as it has a bad color or smell or well <laughs> exactly smell okay number 20 animals can use the what senses as same as humans how many senses we have we have only four senses we have only three senses or we have five senses we have taste hear see smell touch so how many are they five yes exactly thank you so let's get to the last part of our section now doctor says what's the kind or genre of the story of doctor says fable or realistic fiction or biography exactly biography why did you choose biography dear yes because it tells about the life events of a person it tells about what the life events of a person good guy so number 22 dr sayus was called by his mom and dad bug or Ted or said Ted exactly good guys so number 23 Dr. Sagus was a boring man funny man or a cunny man funny man yes exactly so Dr. Sagus was a funny man yes exactly good guys let's keep going number 24 Dr. Sayus draws 
and write or draws only or writes only. Exactly. He does the both. So he draws and writes. Do you remember his drawings were what? Funny. And he wrote the first book which was huh, the cat in the hat. Good guys. Okay. Let's get to number 25. Dad has made a good book. There was a big hat that was called huh the the good book was called what i just said it the cat in the hat or the man sat or the rabbit the cat in the hat good guys okay number 26 kids can see what from ted's book can see toffee can see coffee can see animals Exactly. Kids can see animals from Tid's book. Okay. Number 27. From the books that also was a big hat after the cat in the hat was the Lurex or the Fox or the Box. Exactly. The Lurex. So, let's get to number 28. Dr. Sayas is still... What tell today? A big hat or boring or sad a big hat exactly okay so number 29 doctor says books were always a what tell today success or failure or dead success yes thank you number 30 Dr. Sayus used to draw what pictures? Sad pictures, bad pictures, funny pictures. I said it before, remember? Yes, funny pictures. Good guys. Okay, now let's get to the last, last, last bet. Okay. Jack and the Wolf. Who are the main characters of the story of Jack and the Wolf? Nell and friends or the sheep or the wolf? Nell and friends, exactly. Okay, number two. What lesson did Jack learn at the end of the story? Sheep make good pets or you shouldn't track your friends or the hell is a good place to sleep. Yes. Sheep make good pets? Can it be? No. Our main lesson was what? You shouldn't track your friends, remember? Yes, good guys. Okay, now let's get to number three. Why did Jack's friends not come the last time when he yelled, Wolf! Jack had tricked them, or he yelled too softly, or they saw the wolf. Exactly, Jack had tricked them, so they didn't believe him when there was a real wolf. Okay, so number four. What job does Jack have? He sits with the sheep, or he looks for the wolf, or he plays tricks on his friend. Exactly. He sits with the sheep. That was his job. So number five, which best tells about Jack at the start of the story. He likes to yell. He doesn't have fun. He likes to sit with the sheep. At the store, Jack was what, guys? Was bored, right? He was so bored. Yes. So number B, he doesn't have fun. So number six, why does Jack yell, wolf? The first time he sees a wolf, he plays a trick. He yells to wolf to come play. Exactly. He plays a trick as he was bored. And that was his idea for having fun. Okay, so number seven. Why do the friends run up the hill when Jack yells the wolf? 
to help Jack or to help Wolf or to get the sheep up the hill. Yes, exactly! To help Jack! Okay, so number eight. What kind of story is Jack and the Wolf? Informational text or fable or poem? Good guys, it's a fable. Why? Because it's from the imagination. It has an imaginable events, right? Fiction. Okay, so what's its genre or kind? Fable. Good guys, now let's get to number nine. Where does the story takes place? The store or the hell or the city? The hell. Good guys. Thanks a lot for your cooperation with me this session and see you next time. Be safe and have a nice time. Thank you.